Welcome back. A new push by the billionaire backers of California Forever showing just where that new city will be built, releasing a map and images of their plans and hoping to win over support. Now Hunter Sowards is here now with how they're addressing major concerns from people in the area. Yeah, guys, this has been a hot topic, that's for sure. And they're really showing those revisions to their plans, still doubling down, though, on their message of a better future for the region. So take a look. This is California Forever's newest map. It shows the proposed city between Rio Linda, Rio Vista, excuse me, and Fairfield. The changes to the city's boundary come after concern for how close it would have been to Travis Air Force Base. Now that detail, just one of many issues local residents have with the plan. It's the Solano County our kids deserve. Promising a better future and responding to feedback, California Forever shares where exactly they plan to build their new 1800 acre city. To the east, out beyond our cities, there is land rated among the worst for agriculture in all of Solano County. A new TV ad with old messaging, and it's not sitting well with some in Solano County who say they were bullied by the billionaire backers to sell off their land. Walkable middle class neighborhoods with homes we can afford. This is about their money. Hey, we got a great way to make a buck. Let's go do this project. At a January meeting, California Forever pitched their plan of walkable neighborhoods with sprawling parks and affordable homes, promising more jobs and a better quality of life. Clearly, this is a money-making project for those who need more money. A top concern, though, is how close the city would be to Travis Air Force Base. California Forever releasing a new version of their plans, showing a revised Travis security zone, seen here in yellow, and a parkland zone in green. Both areas offering a buffer between the proposed community and the base. This after complaints the construction would interrupt military operations. Eastern Solano County, where a new community can rise. A rising city in the region or a dead end for California forever. Well, the group is hoping to get 13,000 signatures from Solana County voters. If they are able to do that, the measure will go before voters in November, but it would likely face years of environmental review before construction could even begin. So while this is yet another step, guys, there's still a lot that would wow. have to happen. But here. seeing the detailed look of, of how it could happen yeah. is interesting. Right? They are really pitching this to voters and hoping yeah. to, to gain some support because there's a lot of pushback right yeah. now.